Bunny, and today's video is gonna be a wah, wah, wan. Guys, I used to have a friend all the time, and if ever one of us would complain, the other one would say, better call the Lambulance. Today, it's gonna be a random AliExpress hurl. What did I order? What are we gonna be pulling out of these envelopes today? I literally don't know, because I ordered it last year. I think I ordered it last November. I feel like a lot of times I'm obviously trying to find a lot of things for like future videos. Like normally when I do an AliExpress haul or a Wish haul, I try and like wait for a bunch of stuff to come in so I can like do it thematically, like AliExpress accessories and jewelry or like AliExpress costumes. Oh my God, you guys know what kind of video I haven't done in forever is real versus fake, where we like play the game, which item is real and which item did I get on Wish or AliExpress. So yeah, but today, I just got a pile of stuff in the mail, like a bunch of different envelopes. They all look like they're from AliExpress. So let's just open it and see what I got. And then I'll separate it out by like accessories or whatever it just so happens to be. So let's just start unwrapping envelopes. So let's just open this small envelope first. This says doll. See, this is what I'm saying. I buy stuff for videos and then I literally don't even remember what it is that I bought because I literally do not remember buying a doll. Let's just start with this random one first. Oh, it is a doll. <gasps> okay, I had one of these I feel like forever ago and I don't know what happened to it, but it's a lighter cover that is a troll. Now, you guys, they sell these as lighter covers, which I thought would be so cute to set back here because you guys know I have my lush candles back here but you guys this does not look like specifically lighter shaped so i think that they just started like manufacturing trolls with no hair and then they're like let's just say shove a lighter in it yeah because this is not oh, oh. is this gonna work does this thing really work I feel like this might be a thing that like you heat up with a hair dryer have you guys ever tried that like if you can't get a piece of plastic around something. You just put a hair dryer on it for a couple seconds. Or am I the only one that immediately thinks hair dryer whenever I have any kind of problem that needs solving? Okay, I think that's about as far as it goes. So it definitely looks better front wise, but let's see. Oh, holding his little troll hand. Oh, ta-da. All right, so first thing, I'm impressed. What is this? I saw these little star beads and they have little faces. Look, it's so cute. They have pink little faces. I think you could pick like iridescent or non iridescent, or maybe you could get them with or without faces. Like I said, I ordered this at this point last year. So I don't remember. I'm pretty sure that these were definitely less than a dollar. It looks like you get about 10 of them. And it also came with some of the complimentary clear string, but I thought that these would be really cute. Maybe make a bracelet, an anklet, whatever you want to do. Okay, this feels like plushy kind of. Oh my god! Okay, is this what they call a doll? I got it to make a doll out of. You guys, I saw this TikTok. I don't remember how viral it went, but somebody was doing a elf on a shelf parody and they called it meat on a seat. And I was like, oh my God, that is just the type of deranged quality craft that I like. So they took like an elf on a shelf and this meat, it, it was like a dog toy. They kind of went step by step in the TikTok. I'll see if I can find it. The meat speaks. Yeah, so I'll see if I can find the TikTok so I can show you guys, but they like took apart an elf on a shelf and they said it was like a dog toy and they added like arms and legs. I even think that they came up with like an entire story for it. This was not a creator that I had ever seen before, but I was just like, oh my God, I too could DIY a meat on a seat. So yeah, it's, I don't know if the elf, oh, maybe that's what they meant by doll. I think I actually, oh yeah, okay. So this feels plasticky. I think I actually ordered a Grinch. What is the Grinch one? I feel like there's so many like, ah, bah, 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 and it's like different kind of elf on a shelf. 
Uh, so yeah, I think I got the Grinch instead of, yeah, I just thought that that would be like kind of funny. Cause you do have to like separate the arms and the legs and the head. And so I kind of was thinking, well, what would I potentially like make an earring out of versus like not doing anything with the head. So I got this plastic Grinch head. You could get green or red, but since I'm splicing it together for the meat, you guys, this is like so <laughs> random. Random AliExpress haul. So I think that was everything in that first little envelope packet. Now we have another one. This also has three more packets. Oh my God, yeah, okay. I think that this also like went viral on TikTok and they were selling these exact things on Amazon and they were like $20 for a set or I think I literally paid like 89 cents or something for these. You guys, they are Croc Charm headlamps. You could get them in a bunch of different colors, but my favorite Crocs are these ones that I call Mountain Dew Crocs, and they're like a green and black tie-dye. So yeah, you clip them into the Crocs. I'm sure I will insert a clip of myself modeling these lovely um, Croc lamps. So let's see, they come with instructions, and they say you can even replace the battery, which is good because... I thought I was gonna put a clip. <gasps> oh my gosh, okay. You like push the thing. Why didn't I think of that? Oh my God, you guys, unreasonably bright. Actually helpful. Let me get the flashing light out of everyone's eyes. Wow, you guys, I feel like this is not just silly, but also like potentially could be helpful. Dogman and I love walking at night. And I feel like sometimes I'm like, okay, like we don't wear like reflectors or anything. And sometimes I'm like, maybe this is like kind of dangerous. But I feel like if you clip these on your shoes, they would almost be not just funny, but also useful. Ooh, yes. Okay, I got this for Dogman actually, because sometimes you guys, I do browse AliExpress like late at night when I can't fall asleep. And I showed this to him because I was like, oh my God. Okay, I hope it's gonna look like as realistic as it did in the picture because this literally looked like, I'm trying to read this, wondrous something key hook. Never be a follower only be yourself. Anyway, you guys, I cannot begin to describe, this looks like if a lizard and a sardine had a baby, it would look like this thing. But it's so cool because it's supposed to be like a brass, almost like a carbiner clip where you could just clip your keys onto your belt loop or whatever. Oh, it does look, it looks so detailed. <gasps> He's gonna be so excited. Oh my God. Okay, I swear that they say that it's brass, but I literally do not think that it can be real brass. Isn't brass fancy or am I just a goofball? So it comes with this big, giant, nice clip as well. Um, so that's actually what you would put your keys on. And then the lizard's tail is what you would clip through like your belt loop. But look at that, you guys. Are the details coming through? Oh, that looks so cool. I mean, it just looks so like, I don't know, weird. Like, how do we describe it? Now, how long will it last? Like, is it gonna break? I don't know, but just like surface level evaluation I am impressed. Is this the other jewelry item? Oh, it is. I'm pretty sure this came from the exact same store as the lizard, but I got this for my mom. She loves seahorses. And yeah, look at that. I do think that this was only like a dollar or two. This was like really inexpensive compared to the little lizard we just saw, but kind of equally as heavy. Like it looks as detailed, it looks as good. It has like a nice weighted feel to it. I mean, obviously it's not like the same. Eh, it feels like pretty much the same, but the lizard is larger. So it's a little bit heavier, but you guys, I'm like honestly kind of impressed, dare I say, with everything I've opened today. Okay, that was everything in the two smaller things now. We've got this, let's just see how far 
The envelope rabbit hole goes. Oh, okay. Ah, uh, I don't know if this looks as high a quality as it did online, but I've been honestly wanting to order one of these forever. These come in a million different shapes and sizes. And the listing that I bought, it looked a little fancier than this. I don't know in what way I would describe to you. I'll just insert a photo. Maybe it's because it wasn't all like squished. So anyway, you can use lots of different figures as keychains. If you have a tiny Blythe, if you collect Pop Mart figures. And the other thing that I've seen people do a lot, let me get him because he's right over here. Yeah, so the thing that I saw people putting in this specific bag, you guys, could I space my singular words out? one at a time, is the, I never know if these are pronounced Nina droids. I feel like that's what I always say and it's probably wrong every single time. Or Nin, Nin droids, Nina droids. I don't know you guys. Uh, this is my favorite one, the Clockwork Orange one, which I'm still surprised they made. So let's see what he looks like. Now I also got this specific model because if you guys see this round bit of plastic on the back, you can actually put like a pin, like a pin back button in here, or maybe you could put like a picture or something. I was kind of thinking a button. I do have a larger clockwork orange button somewhere around here. These kind of follow like the whole thing I like of like Ita bags and stuff where you can make a themed little bag like celebrating a movie or an anime or whatever. I mean people make Eda bags for everything. So I thought it would actually be kind of cool. I also know people like to do a lot of photography with these figures. So I think that that's kind of what this is for. <gasps> oh, is the zipper? The zipper's kind of wonky. It's kind of wonky. I'm gonna try and put a bunch of paper in it and see if I can make it look not <laughs> like this. What is in here? I don't know. This looks like it's like taped twice. I'm also trying to cut carefully into these because I don't know what's in them. All right. I feel like this is like a nice like random haul. It's got a little bit of everything in it. Oh, oh, all right, you guys. I am curious about this. I'm glad it's like very flexible because honestly, I love headbands, but I don't wear them as much as I would because normally they squeeze every last brain cell I have right out of my head. Uh, so I have a really cool spiked headband that I've worn for a million years, but it's on almost like a piece of like string, if that makes sense. And I have literally had that thing for like more than 10 years and I feel like it's starting to stretch out. So I couldn't believe I found this like huge spiked headband and I thought to myself what kind of quality is that but I'm actually surprised like the spikes are metal they're not plastic and it actually has like some finishing like we've got a rivet here this is like faux leather this is like a sateen finish once again I think maybe this was around like five dollars or so so a little bit more pricey for AliExpress but still kind of a deal I mean I feel like that's like the same price as like forever 21 or something in the mall and what is this oh yes it's a blood bag i wanted to start making what is this it's a blood bag and this guy oh my god wait is this sully from <gasps> monsters inc yeah it's mike and sully so they sent this like random <laughs> charm also but i wanted to start making like my own croc charms but honestly you guys this is kind of so cool <laughs> that I might just keep this as a keychain. I kind of thought like, ew, a vampire, it's a blood bag. Um, I don't know why I thought vampire as opposed to like horribly frightening medical situation. Uh, but yeah, it kind of reminded me, it's like, you know, vampire core. You guys, this is like Gashpon quality and it comes with your choice of phone strap or keychain. This was definitely less than a dollar. Quality. All right, it looks like we only have two things left, you guys. How are we coming to an end so fast? What is this? What is this? Even as I'm unwrapping it, I don't know. Is it sunglasses? Oh, it is. Yes. All right. This is another.
another item I've seen on Amazon a thousand times. I thought it was hilarious, but it was just like a generic brand. And I'm like, okay, these have got to be on AliExpress. I swear people were charging like 10 or $20 for these. And I'm pretty sure I paid like $2 plus free shipping. Um, once again, I kind of thought that these would be like funny for my fashion um, transition TikToks and stuff. They are sunglasses that say no. I feel like the O should have like a hole punched out of it out of the lens which would make it I guess less wearable that wouldn't then offer you any protection from the sun but I doubt if these are like sun certified anyway all right you guys we are at the last thing ah! and I'm pretty excited for what this is supposed to be you guys know how much I love weird water bottles water bottles you can stick your phone in uh water bottles what was the other weird one I had I feel like I had another like weird water bottle thing but you guys this is a water bottle with legs and I think it's gonna be as funny and as weird as water bottle with legs sounds oh my god let me unwrap and I'll be right back here it is it feels high quality but it does have an odd odor emitting from it it does not smell good so it is clearly a Shaun the Sheep knockoff they did have pink sheep as well or you know sheep fleecy colored sheep look at these legs okay it's a water bottle with legs I feel like it's funny. I feel like this is a glass water bottle. It almost, it's like weird, you guys, because it has like a hole on the bottom. It almost looks like, you know, something that would allow you to pull like a silicone cover off of it and then, you know, wash it. I don't know, you guys, this one seems like it would be like a hand wash thing only. I was like, will the water bottle actually stand on its own legs? It does. You guys, who comes up with this? Honestly, I don't know, but I do like it. I'm thinking of like other weird things that we can have for videos and stuff in the future. Otherwise, I don't know. I don't know how much I would like seriously drink out of this just because right now, you guys, very stinky. It has like that weird, like kind of plasticky, stinky smell to it. But hey, um, you guys, such a random video. I feel like we saw a little bit of everything and I would love to know what you guys think in the comments down below. Do you think these items are good? Do you think they're worth it? I hope I could find screenshots of all the orders or the listings so that if you guys wanted to get any of this stuff, you could. But anyway, that is it from me today. Thank you guys so, so much for hanging out today and for watching. If you're not already and you'd like to be, hit the button down below, subscribe. I'll be back again very, very soon. Bye!